we were looking to renewable energy in part because it can create money to do energy efficiency work and then we can reinvest that in community energy projects that can have some impact on social injustice and fuel poverty. We've realised that actually going into energy generation is something that would be really worthwhile for the community because of the community benefit that could flow from this. By involving the community and helping people to feel that their voices can be heard and they can be active and involved and their participation has an effect, they don't have to feel that they have no power. We're insulating ourselves against the volatility of fossil fuel markets and how they impact on the energy market but also that money is rotating through the local businesses and circulating within the local economy and allowing the community to invest in itself going forward. We're still at a very early stage. We've got three possible uh, solar projects. Two of those are shared ownership with commercial developers and that works quite well because the developers have a lot of experience, they take a lot of the risk. And we worked out that actually these three projects, if they go ahead, would generate the equivalent of all the electricity that all the households in the area consume in a year. We've been told that rooftop solar is the simplest project to do, but it is still highly complex and not straightforward to deliver a successful project. Finding our way through the various processes it's an area that the paths have been beaten, so it's finding the right resources, the legal and administrative advisors who are relevant to the area they're trying to work in. So it's just piecing those together. Progress has been much slower than we were expecting. We've received the RCEF grant, which has been a real boost in getting us off the ground. And we've also had money from the Accelerator project recently, from Region Southwest and from Devon County Council. And that's been extremely useful. Uh, enabling us to engage with people like Jake from Community for Renewables to advise us on how to put a portfolio together, how to seek out and develop projects. We've also had some very useful training from Regen Southwest, uh, again thanks to Devon County Council, and that's been very helpful in finding out how to um, engage with the community. One of the important things is that as far as possible, as many people as possible should feel engaged in this. So it's about the cross-pollination between the energy groups. We're all trying to find our way and working towards common ends. So where we can share information between groups, that is just invaluable. In a way, that's why community energy works. It's those multi-layered benefits. I see Sid Energy in 10 years' time with a portfolio of projects. At least two rooftop solar projects. Generating the equivalent of what all the electricity consumers use in the area through community funded uh, energy generation projects. It is surprisingly achievable when you look at the figures. In fact we would expect there would be an increasing need for electricity and that should all be coming from renewables and as far as possible as local as possible.